And we're now shifting our focus to some other breaking developments now coming in. This is the Collegium versus the Centre. And the word that's come in, in fact, from the Supreme Court is that the Supreme Court's stern on selective approach in dealing as far as the Collegium issue is concerned. And they've also, in fact, asked, the top court has asked the Attorney General to ensure that no pick and choose happens. What we're also hearing from the top court is that this selective appointment is, in fact, disturbing the inter-seniority. They've, in fact, also gone on to say, I'm quoting, we hope that this situation doesn't arise where this court or the Collegium will have to take some actions or take decision which is not palatable. That is what we heard from Justice Sanjay Kishan Kohl. What we're also now understanding is that this matter, in fact, will now be next heard on the 20th of November. Let's also bring in our legal correspondent, Ananya Bhatnagar, who is joining us. So, Ananya, help us understand what has the Supreme Court said as far as its concerns on whether this could include some sort of pick and choose and why that needs to be avoided. Well, definitely, you know, uh, the Collegium recommendations had been given out uh, a short while from now. There have been various names that have been suggested uh, for people to be appointed as judges of the High Court and also the Supreme Court. However, some of the names were cleared by the government, some were not cleared by the government and were kept, uh, you know, hanging. And that's exactly why uh, the Supreme Court said that, you know, the selective approach of the central government is something that is worrisome. And uh, it also disturbed the interstate uh, seniority of judges. Remember that uh, what happens is that if at all two people uh, are recommended to be judges of uh, uh, the Supreme Court or the high, uh, uh, or to be appointed as chief justice of certain high courts. And uh, if at all that uh, does not happen, if the two people like you and me are uh, to be appointed to, uh, by a collegium resolution, the collegium passes our name. But you and I, though, being of the same seniority, if at all you are first recommended and my name is recommended later, then the seniority gets disturbed. And that is the exact concern of the Supreme Court, that the seniority of judges actually gets disturbed and, and people who could have served a lot more time on the bench would not be able to do so. And that's exactly the reason why the Supreme Court felt that, you know, uh, there is some palpable uh, okay. uh, action that uh, the government was given a clear warning that, you know, if at all the government does not deal with it uh, in a well, a well stance, if it, uh, it does not, um, you know, take off this uh, selective approach of it, then the Supreme Court or the Collegium might have to take certain action, might have to. And these, these comments okay. actually came up after sure. Advocate Prashant Bhushan actually said that, you know, uh, the government is not doing so okay. and there should be a timeline that should be set by the Supreme Court and that's exactly why okay. the Supreme Court said that you know the government should not be selective in its approach yeah. because it disturbs the inter seniority of judges. Okay Ananya we'll have to leave that conversation there this matter in fact will